Another thing that I, I, I want to say on this documentary, and I would ask you personally to keep this, um, I would like to apologize to Chicago. Um, Chicago was my number one market. When I came out, uh, I sold more records in Chicago than I did in Mississippi or anywhere else. And you know, as an artist and as a man, like we do this a lot, like you have a good woman at home and then you go everywhere out in the world trying to find everything else and don't take care of the people who take care of you. Chicago sustained my career in the early part of my career when I first came out. Uncle George, um, you know, from George George's Music Room, he, um, he took care of me when I came here and he did block parties for me, and um, I remember me and him searching through the city looking for my first CD when it first came out the first week, and every CD was bought. And what I personally think is for those people who were not able to travel back to, sh to Mississippi and see their ancestors, I think they vicariously traveled through me. And uh, I said this last night when I thought about it, like, I'd like to apologize to Chicago because I didn't come back and perform as much as I was supposed to. I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't think about it, but I was out trying to conquer the world instead of paying attention to those people, you know. Even home in Mississippi, I never performed there as much as maybe, you know, three, four times after I got on. I think I only performed there two times. One time with Ludacris and, and another time, and um, I won't make that mistake again with the God Box. You know, and I like to tell Chicago that I thank them and I appreciate them. I don't know why they love me so, uh, but uh, I love them back and I thank you.